uh, did ask a question. They got a tip saying that there was some DNA found at the crime scene, and that does seem to be the case on at least one of the suspects. That has been sent to a crime lab, and that is being tested. They're expected for that to come back in the next day or so. So right now what they've done is they've suspended the search in this area locally. There was a two-mile radius around the Fox Lake area. That search has been suspended. They feel like they've ex exhausted every uh, ounce of looking in this area. They believe that these people have not, uh, they're not in this area anymore. Now, over this way across from me, right down from the police department, about a mile away, is a train track area along a marsh where the uh, police officer was killed. And they believe it's possible that the suspects could have possibly jumped on a train passing by and maybe gotten out of town that way. So what they've done is they've expanded the search out. They're only calling it canvassing here locally, but they've expanded out with the help of the DEA, ATF, FBI, or not the DEA, but the uh, ATF and the FBI, uh, the U.S. Marshals, and some more officers around the surrounding area. But they've pushed out further, so you're not seeing that door-to-door -door search like we saw in photographs yesterday and videos. I haven't seen a helicopter yet thus far, but I did hear one off in the uh, distance earlier. So I'm going to follow some leads. And what I would like for people to do, Alex, is if you live in this area, you see where a lot of the police are searching. If you could send us in an email to show tips and put my name in the uh, in the title so I know to look for that when I go through there so I can try to follow some of these leads and see where the police are looking for these three cop killers. And give folks, the listeners, we have a lot of listeners there who've even called in and been on air yesterday that live in that town and surrounding areas. Uh, maybe our listeners can help find these guys. We have them in every town, every city, listening on shortwave internet. We also have two affiliates in the Chicago area, both AM. Uh, what can people do? Can they hit you at your Twitter, Joe, uh, to give yeah. you live, up-to-date photos or links or map coordinates? Yeah, of course, Alex. That'd be a great idea. Because right now I'm out here. I've got my vehicle. As soon as we're done here, I'm going to start chasing leads. So if you're out here and you live in this area, in the surrounding area, and you have uh, you know something, find me on Twitter, at Rambo Biggs, and send me your pictures, your updates. If you've seen the police searching around, if they've come to your house and asked for anything whatsoever, any kind of information, anything will help out at this point in time. Because most of the journalists here are going to stay in this little uh, media area like always. I like to get out and venture. And actually go door to door. That's right. Well, stay up there, stay up there today or tomorrow or as long as you think you need to. But exactly, get out there and try to hunt these guys down. Try to follow the police, see what they're on. Try to talk to some of the police uh, when they're on break in a restaurant or whatever. And uh, let's see if our listeners can uh, hopefully give us some tips to try to track down where they're at. That I mean doesn't mean we're going to do it, but if everybody tries to keep a lookout, they may be able to do it. See, we're all for looking for bad guys once a crime's committed. In a police state, you look at it before it's committed. No, that's not how we operate. Once it's been committed, though, uh, we are after it. If you see folks online calling for killing black people or calling for killing uh, white people, send us tips at showtipsandinfowars.com because we're going to be on top of it trying to stop George Soros, the Nazi collaborator scumbag, and Obama, the piece of filth trash, and the Clintons and all of these criminals from starting a giant race war, Joe Biggs. Joe, it's getting really transparent. Have you heard... The new Black Lives Matter affiliated popular radio show calling for killing more police and white people. Yeah, I just heard the audio clip you were playing previously, Alex. And I also heard about the uh, there's a lady in Texas. They, she goes by Sunshine. And she also has a lot of hate filled messages that she pushes out as well. She was outside protesting the uh, at the uh, jail cell where Sandra Bland uh, died. So she was one of the ones out there calling for the, you know, the death of whites. But, I mean, well, Sandra so. Bland said she was going to commit suicide in videos and told people. Well, I mean, and, and just like the rhetoric being spewed by Black Lives Matter with the whole hands up, don't shoot thing, we know that that's a lie based on uh, information that's been given through even black witnesses who were there as well who saw it out there in Ferguson. Meanwhile, we so have a Hispanic man shot by another Hispanic. Cold-blooded murder is what it looks like in San Antonio, and the police are trying to cover that up right now. Very shameful. But, again, it's just crazy cops killing people. It's not racially based in most cases. The statistics show that. Yeah, exactly. And and I don't think that this case right here exactly has This police officer just happened to pull over what he saw as to be three suspicious suspects, and then it just escalated out of control. I think it was a... Uh, uh, something that just happened. I, I don't think this was planned in any kind of way. And based off what I've heard thus far, I don't think sure. they think that either. But it's so, part of this but, climate. But it's definitely happened because we had the police officer in Abilene who was found murdered in his home. 
So there's definitely that going on. So you can tell that these people are going to be looking over their shoulders. You're going to start seeing more cops riding together in vehicles versus being alone. You're going to see more pairings of them. And this is what happens. You know, they think they're doing the right thing by going out and killing these cops. But all they're doing is going against the entire thing they're trying to get rid of, which is the police brutality. They're angry because they're saying that white cops are killing black, uh, you know, unarmed men. But now all they're doing is they're going to militarize the police more. Once cops will threaten to a point where they can't safely go out and patrol, what's going to happen? You're going to get MRAPs. You're going to get the tanks on the road. You're going to get AR-15. And the police are going to stop gonna responding to crime, period. And, and you're going to get that happen. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you, Alex, you're going to get to one point in time where a lot of police are going to say, you know what, I give up. It's not worth me dying anymore. And you're going to have total and complete chaos. And you have the left trying to take citizens' guns that will cause even more chaos. It's Operation Chaos. Remember I called it Operation Chaos a month ago? So they're launching a race war, stop Operation Chaos. Here it is. I can't believe it's actually happening. Joe, get out there, follow your reports, upload them to YouTube. We'll cover them. Uh, if there's anything else breaking, we'll talk to you again in the next hour. Great job. Thank you, Alex, for having me. Thank you. Let's play Lewis Faircon right now. And then when we come back, I'm going to play the other clip and go to Dr. Group. But let's play... Louis Farrakhan a month ago saying go out and kill people. And then now you got all these groups echoing that and it's starting. And all that does is legitimize attacks on innocent people on both sides. It's just totally wrong. How about all lives matter? I mean, it's really just that simple. Let's go to this sickening clip. So if the federal government will not intercede in our affairs, then we must rise up and kill those who kill us. Stop them and kill them and let them feel the pain of death that we are feeling. It's a total setup. And I get people wanting to fight back, but when the globalists wind us up to do it, I mean, the whole thing's a setup. George Soros just pulled this off in Ukraine two years ago, funding the radical right wing to overthrow the government. It's just bizarre to see this over and over again. Dr. Group's coming up at the bottom of the hour. He'll be with us for a full hour and a half today in studio. When I come back, I'm going to play more of the actual clip. That's up on Infowars.com. Kill whites and cops. Black Lives Matter affiliated radio show calls for race war. And then that ties into everything else that's happening. Video shows officers ignoring man in diabetic distress. He dies in jail 15 hours after arrest. That's what's barbarous is that lives don't matter. Babies, don't, veterans don't matter. Cops don't matter. Blacks don't matter. Diabetics don't matter. Nobody matters. We need to start caring about justice and standing up for all lives, not being played selectively by the race-baiting Democratic Ku Klux Klan Party. We'll be back. The truth is there's injustice in every country. The truth is America's had a lot of problems. And everybody that knows I've been on 20 years of radio, I've stood against some of the m mandatory minimum sentences for black people, the fact that black folks have had drugs shipped in their neighborhoods, uh, criminal elements of the CIA. I mean, we've been pioneers of exposing that. Because I want justice. But the mainstream media and the Democratic Party putting chips on people's shoulders, using examples to hype everybody up like they're personally having their mama or their daddy killed, pushing this whole gangbanger culture, tying it into attacking the police. It's evil. And then when Louis Farrakhan and other groups call for going after police and white people, I mean, I'm white. I'm part Native American, too. And, you know, I got white children. And it's no crime of me that I was attracted to a white woman and had children. I don't tell folks how to live their lives. And it's bigoted to say white people are the problem, go after them. I mean, that's fundamental. But then when violence is called for, it's illegal. And I just want it on record that it's the left and the groups they control calling for violence and destabilizing things and trying to shut down the economy and raising our power prices so folks go bankrupt, so jobs shut down. They want to break this country's back. This nation is under classical 
economic and cultural siege. And the arrogant people that are probably working for the feds, if they aren't, they got screwed over some, you know, by the cops when they were a kid or some racist, and now they project it on everybody. I mean, I had bad cops when I was growing up. I had black people that were racist against me when I was growing up, and I was sophisticated enough to not hate all cops or all black people. And so it's really just a bunch of babies that like to play the part of victims and think they're going to be big, tough honchos out in some race war. If a real race war starts in this country, it's not going to be pretty for, quote, either side. But if you look at the historical lines and armaments and the way things are broken down, two different groups can play at the game of going and picking people off. This guy talks about we're going to go pick you off one at a time like the... Lions pick off the, I guess he thinks wildebeest. The lions don't go pick off water buffaloes. Water buffaloes kill more people probably than anything in Africa. They're more vicious than a lion. So are hippopotamus. That just shows this guy's ignorance. He, and he calls himself the king, the lord. It's all part of this narcissistic, sick hip-hop culture. Let's go ahead and play this sickening clip. King Noble, black supremacy. And I want to talk about the shooting of the white deputy sheriff in Houston, Texas. Reminds me of a Bob Marley song, I Shot the Sheriff. To me, what the Houston, Texas brutal execution before the public represents to me is this open season mm -hmm. on killing whites and white police officers and probably killing cops, period. It's open season towards the police department and the police. So now you got some black militant or some angry black man walks up and executes a cracker cop in broad daylight. This is real. It's open season on killing white people and cops. It's unavoidable, inescapable. It's funny that now we'll move into a time where a predator will become the prey. Yes, they said there will be a race war and that we cannot win a race war. We can't win. We're outnumbered. They got weapons, they got drones, they got this, they got that. But I remind you of the buffaloes who outnumber the lions. They're bigger than lions, and they move in larger herds, but they're picked off by lions, one by one by one, picking them off. Today, we live in a time where the white man will be picked off, and there's nothing he can do about it. His day is up. His time is up. We will witness more executions and killing of white people and cops than we ever had before. We see with the Houston, Texas shooting, and we see with the news reporting shooting in Virginia. It's about to go down. It's open season on killing white people and crackers. The Black Lives Matter movement wasn't enough. We tried to appeal to them to let them know that this type of thing would come. It would happen. They thought they were indestructible and invincible because they took advantage of the weakness of black people for too long with all this police brutality. All right, that's enough. And now they've got... You know, I had David Duke on the show, and, I want, and he had the courage to come on. I'm going to challenge King Noble Supremo, Grand, whatever his name is, I was making fun of the Klan for all their p pimp names, and this guy's got a pimp name as well. This is ridiculous. You're a grand jackass is what you are, King Noble. And, and I want to challenge this, this guy to use his real name and come on this show and spout all his bull here. Because I want to try to explain some things to him. I'd have a little more respect if he was saying don't abort your babies, or if he was saying don't take Gardasil, or don't drink fluoride water. That's where the real kill is going on, dummy. And it's happening to everybody. But instead, you want to sit there and have the media use the few bad examples out of 330 million people to cause a race war. Do you have any idea what's going to happen if a real war starts, dummy? We're on the I mean, march. number one, people are going to come after you. On the run. Number one, you're not going to just Alex be some Jones big mouth hiding on the internet. We'll be right back. You know, in Bob Marley's famous song, I Shot the Sheriff, but I didn't shoot the deputy, we have this bumper music here. Sheriff John Brown has a bone to pick with him. He gets out of prison, and Sheriff John Brown pulls a gun on him to shoot him. So he shoots him. And then, of course, they frame him for killing somebody else. So the whole story is about corruption. He's saying, no, I shot the sheriff, but I didn't shoot the deputy. Well, if I'm innocent and somebody pulls a gun with the intent to kill me, I'm going to defend myself. I don't care who they are. But that's a justified defense. That's not shooting a cop, pumping gas. A Dr. Edward Group, good friend of mine, one of the top supplement formulators in the country as well uh, joins us for the next hour and a half. We'll have open phones in the next hour for Ask Dr. Group. We'll also cover the waterfront with him. For two months, it's been sold out. 
uh, he wanted me to order a whole bunch 